this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Let's head on back to Altair and report our progress, or lack thereof. At least there. But alright, hey hey! Really good agility gains, right off the bat. But alright, how are you doing there now? Very nice, very nice. And you... Very good. I would probably like him to be around 65% evasion. That should give him a pretty good chance of being faster than any of the enemies we'll encounter in the next major dungeon we go to. But before heading back to Altair, let's make a pit stop at Fask. We can take care of these guys quickly enough. Although, I don't think I'm going to get any weapon or spell experience from this battle. Oh well. Might as well take what we can get. Maybe I could get a little stat gain or something. Who knows? But, yeah. Uh, there's really not much of a point to fighting rank 1 enemies. Otherwise, at this point in the game. But, we'll see. At least we can kill them quickly enough. Okay, what do we get? Ooh, wow! What a start! Nice. Well, now we're up to 99% evasion for Furion. Hooray! That means we'll probably get an agility... Or an agility gain about every 10 battles or so, I think. It's probably got like a 10% chance or almost a 10% chance to do that. But alright, let's see. Let's uh, clear some inventory space while we're here. Let's see, I want to hold on to the Mage Staff and the Mithril Mirror that we found. Although, if you already played ahead of me and sold the Mithril Mirror, don't worry about it. It's not that critical, but it would help coming up here. Let's see, as far as other equipment goes, you know, I'm going to hold on to one of the Ice Shields because I was planning on buying one later anyway. But if you don't have it, it's not a big deal. It'll just save me a little money. I mean, look at all the money I've got. I am not... I have more than enough money to buy everything that I need for the rest of the game, other than MP items. MP restoring items there. But let's see. Okay, for Guy, let's give him the Mithril Mirror. We're going to need that in the next boss fight coming up. And let's see. For Maria, okay, we're looking good there. Let's... what is it? Yeah, I, I want to buy a few more ethers there, even though the next couple dungeons are going to be pretty short. But I always like to keep a good stockpile of at least six ethers all together between whatever I have equipped or not. But let's see, if you don't have an ice shield, you could buy, like, a mithril shield eventually. Uh, back at Altair. I, I really just need a shield as, like, a placeholder at this point. Oh, and I should probably have Guy heal himself. Save a little money at the end, although it doesn't really matter at this point. I just like being as efficient as I can with my money. But we are... We've been very efficient with my MP. And barely had enough to make it back without having to use another ether. But alright, so to get back to Altair, I want to take the ship back there all the way instead of like, I don't know, a Tokubo ride or something because I'm going to need the ship to get to the next dungeon we're going to be going to. So let's head north first. Alright, took care of a bunch of killer fish and sea serpents. Easy enough, no envenoming to deal with there. Alright, pretty much the same battle as before there. But alright, so the way to get back to Altair is just to keep on going north until you hit land. And every time you hit land, you want to go a little to the west at least. Where'd all the enemies go around here? Hmm, I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, wait, I don't remember there being a desert over there. But, uh, well, we haven't quite been there yet. But soon enough, you soon enough. Okay, so from here, once you hit that bit of land, then go straight west, that should take us back to Altair. 
Really, where are the enemies? I should have gotten into a battle by now. I'm gonna park up here, just because of my OCD for Final Fantasy 1. But you could park your ship anywhere. Or we could fight some enemies anywhere. Why not? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna get anything out of this other than some minor stat gains. But we might as well take them out. But, uh, yeah, Ga even Guy can't get weapon experience. From or, well, even Layla, she's pretty low on, uh, weapon levels, but she's almost caught up to us, really. Okay, so, let's see. Going into the place, what do we got here? I, w I just want to take a look at my setup here. Okay, Ethereum is looking good. Let's see, Guy is looking good. Layla. Oh, I should have her on the Demon Spear. I had the Trident to quit because I was fighting enemies in the ocean there. But I do want to remove some of her equipment because we're going to be switching guest characters soon. But uh, we can hold on to her other stuff. If you don't have the extra ice shield, which you probably don't, uh, you can like either replace it with a mithril shield just as a placeholder for her. We will be getting her back eventually, just uh, and she'll have her same equipment, so it doesn't matter either way. But yeah, she'll be fine like that. But all right, let's. Uh, well, yeah, see what's going on around here. It's been a while since we've been back here. We've been through two fairly long dungeons since we've uh, checked things out around here. But yeah, I wanted to take the ship back here instead of, like, the Chocobo because I'm going to need the ship to get to the next dungeon we're going to go to. But alright, let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, I remember she was doing that when we tried talking to her too. Hmm, that's weird. Well, we'll see what else we got. But, uh, hmm. Well, maybe she's overcome with grief or something. I don't know. Well, yeah. Evidently. Well, that is the general idea. Well, how do you even know about that already? We just got here. Hmm. You mean like a, a rat burger? Hmm. I don't see any cows around here or anything. Gotta eat something. Maybe Rat is a delicacy and Finn, I don't know. Well, good for him. And, well, good for you guys, evidently. But alright. Hey, welcome to the Rebellion. I mean, we're all outlaws here anyway, so why not have a pirate around here? But, uh, yep, uh, they all died. But we saved... A wyvern, at least. Not that that really helps us now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, now you give me your, uh, emotional support. Thanks. Oh. Yeah, okay, why not? I mean, I thought you were in charge of the place now. But, uh, okay, I guess we could try talking to her. But, uh, okay. Let's see, how are you guys doing? Oh, okay, well, at least he's, uh... What do you mean, leading the army? He doesn't seem to be leading much of anything. I mean, what has he been doing? Training the soldiers or something around here? Or, I don't know, maybe they have had battles while we were gone. But, I guess, well, they're not ready yet or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we definitely want to make a backup save here. Just in case. And then let's try this one again. But, alright, so yeah, uh, Hilda's acting a little strange, so, yeah, let's check up on her. I mean, we are the... Rising stars in the rebellion. Maybe she's got another mission for us or something. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I guess you do got a mission for us, huh? I mean, Furion is the leader of the group, kind of. 
Oh, or we could talk to her alone. Why not? What's with the music? And the lights? Why is it playing Swan Lake? Or whatever this song is called. First time, Furion? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Oh, or not. Furion, what are you doing with your pants down? For boss time against the Queen Lamia. Okay, the first thing we want to do is try to inflict curse on her. If not with Firion, then almost certainly with Maria there. Let's see, Guy, let's have him use the Mithril Mirror, which casts Wall 16 on him. That'll protect him from all black magic up to 16 there, but it also works against enemy skills as well. In this case, Charm 9 from the Queen Lamia. Ow! So, yeah, it, it works against enemy skills, even though the in-game description just says black magic there. But, uh, okay, so, looks like Layla woke up there. And, okay, since we got curse on her, let's get going with the physical attacks. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's just get going with the magic there. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to use Protect or Shell. Let's go with Shell. I don't think I need Protect now that we've gotten Curse inflicted on her. Yeah, once you get Curse, that makes this fight a lot easier. The reason I wanted Shell was to Protect against the sleep status from her physical attacks. You could also use the Unicorn Horn to cure the sleep status if they don't wake up. But in this case, well, I can't do that on my own. But all right, let's see. Oh yeah, another thing she can do is cast a Blink 16 on herself, which would basically make it almost impossible for us to hit her with physical attacks. So I'd have to completely rely on Maria's spells to finish her off. Can someone wake up? Well, that's gonna make the fight more interesting. Goodbye, Maria. Nuts. Damn, we can't wake up or anything. Okay, there you go. Okay, well, maybe we can do something here. Let's see. I think she's getting pretty low on HP. So let's see if I can just incapacitate her instead of finishing the battle off. Eh, couldn't do much there. Can't do much there either. Man, if only I kept that shell spell off earlier, I would have been fine, but no, nope, just too slow! But let's keep on trying. Eventually, I will be able to revive someone. Okay, there you go. Uh-oh. Well, we do got the, yeah, the wall spell. Hooray! Yeah, I, I wasn't planning on using the mithril mirror here. But uh, I thought about it. I was like, you know, that might be useful there. So, yeah, let's uh, give it a try. It seems to be helping out. Let's see. Why don't we get in a physical attack there so I can get some weapon experience? She is a rank 7 enemy. The highest rank of enemies in the game. Let's see. I'm trying to get a drop from her. An uncommon drop, but not ultra rare. Let's see. Yes! We got it! The Protect Ring. It's a 10% drop from her, and I totally recommend farming it from her. You could also get a ribbon drop from her as well, but that's an ultra rare drop, and I would prefer the protect ring anyway, because, well, for a few reasons. I mean, it's easier to acquire, and it has really good magic be defense. Both of them have it, but this has also more physical defense as well. The ribbon protects you against all elements, but it's a piece of headgear, so I would have to get rid of the gold pin for Guy there. And I want to keep that on him for the agility boost. So, But I, I like the Protect Ring better. It also protects against uh, death elemental spells, which would be, well, death, and that's it. 
Most of the other instant death spells are considered matter elemental, not death itself. But, uh, yeah, stay on your toes there, Furion. But, uh, so what happened to the real princess, then? Oh, well, thanks for telling me two minutes after it would have mattered. But, uh, hmm, I wonder how they got her. I guess they made the switch when they kidnapped her on the Dreadnought there or something. But, uh, okay, uh, yeah, sure, why not? More party members with Gordon! Anything else here? No? Okay. You know, there is one thing I was thinking about with... Uh, what is it? With the princess there. Yeah, let's get uh, Gordon equipped here. But yeah, with the... With, with Hilda there, I wonder... With, with the king, I wonder if... Uh, he was already dying on his own? Or I wonder if Hilda... I don't know, maybe poison him or something to finish him off quicker or something. I don't think there's any dialogue to, like, indicate that or imply that. But, I don't know, I kind of get the impression that she would have done something like that. Like, infiltrate the rebellion and kill the king and report Brett back or something. But, uh, well, at least we got her. Yeah, the Queen Lamia is a fairly difficult fight there because of all those status ailments we got there. But, uh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, sure, why not? We can give it a try. But, yeah, with the uh, protect ring there for Guy, yeah, look at that magic resistance. That'll really help out with him with his shell spell. Now the shell spell will really, really begin to shine there. I'll probably have, like, six levels of magic resistance with shell helping out there. Like, for any given attack that they deal. I was about to say, where did uh, Gordon go? Well, yeah, of course she was a monster. You didn't know? But, uh, okay. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. Maybe he just got, like, real jaded in his old age or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go to save her. Again. Oh, I forgot that Layla was down there. Oh, okay. Uh, any keywords? No? No? Okay. Never mind. Carry on. Oh. So we could go to Kashuan and then like take a chocobo to get there, but I'm just going to take the ship to get over there instead. I'd rather not, you know, fight a bunch of weak monsters on the way. But uh, yeah, evidently, huh? Oh, okay. How do you know that even? Hmm. Well, she is now. But, uh, well, yeah, I could figure that out. Oh, yeah. Well, remember that for later, viewers. But, all right, yeah, I've got... Let me see, with my setup here... Let's see, do I still got... Okay, we still got the unicorn horn, so that'll help us out. And, so, yeah, the protect ring really helps Guy out a lot there. And the physical defense is really good on the protect ring, too. It's basically an endgame piece of armor that we can get, like, about halfway into the game now. But if you do get a ribbon, I mean, it's not the end of the world. If you want to hold on to that, hey, go nuts. But can we successfully rescue the princess from the arena at Palamecia? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!